Hi, I'm Marty from Marty's Pickles. In this segment, we're gonna be making sweet bread and butter pickles. So let's get started so you can pickle it yourself. This is everything you need to make the bread and butter pickles. The concentrated home pickling brine, fresh cucumbers, celery seed, mustard seed, chili peppers, sugar, a teaspoon, a one full measuring cup, a crinkle cut knife or a straight cut blade, water, a measuring cup pitcher that is at least one liter in size, and two one liter mason jars. And that's it, so let's get pickling. Okay, I'm gonna take the 250 ml cup to start making the bread and butter pickling brine. Open up the brine. Fill up exactly 250 ml of brine. Pour it into your measuring pitcher. Next, we need two cups or 500 ml of sugar. So you have your sugar, you already have your cup. You're gonna fill two full cups. Pour it into the brine. Make sure they're full, because the recipe calls for two full cups. Then pour a little bit of water in the cup to get rid of the sugar that was left in the cup. And we're gonna fill up with fresh water up to one liter to make this brine. Now it's very important that this is stirred until all the sugar is dissolved. So it's gonna take a, possibly a minute to do it all, but just keep stirring and the sugar will dissolve. Okay, once the brine's made, we're gonna get our jars ready. So in each jar, put one teaspoon of mustard seed and one teaspoon of celery seed. And in one of the jars, I'm gonna put in four or five chili peppers to make it a little spicy and sweet. Some people like that and some people don't, so if you don't like that, don't put that in. But if you like it a little spicy and sweet, put the chili peppers in. Okay, next we're gonna cut the cucumbers. Now I'm going to use a crinkle cut blade because I like using a crinkle cut blade uh, slice for bread and butter pickles. It makes them a little bit uh, crispier and firmer. I also like cutting them in half inch slices. Now I try to do as uniform as possible and a little bit thicker slice makes a crispier pickle in the end. Now that the cucumbers are all cut, we're gonna pack them in tightly into the jar. You can just throw them in until the jars are full. And you can't put too many cucumbers in. You can just fill it right up and that's what you wanna to do to make the pickles come out perfect every time. Let's take the brine that we mixed before and you can see everything is dissolved. It's nice and clear now. And we're gonna fill up the jars to the top, leaving a quarter inch from the top. The reason that we leave a quarter inch from the top is to allow the brine to expand when they're going through the cooking process. And then after they cool down, it'll pull a nice vacuum. Fill it right to the top, leaving a quarter inch. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by a quarter inch from the top around the rim to allow the brine to expand. Okay, let's tighten the jars up. Okay, these are two part lids. So put the one part on the jar first, put the other one over top and tighten it as tight as possible. You can't tighten it too tight. Okay, now they're ready to be cooked in the canning pot. The next step, once you've sealed your jars, you're gonna pick them up with a jar holder and put them into your canning pot. Now the water can be room temperature, but if you wanna bring it up to 100 degrees just to get it going, it's perfect. You don't want it to be hotter than that because the jars could crack. So you place the jars in with your jar holder. Turn your burners on. And with this product, we want to bring it to a boil and let it boil for 10 minutes. After it's boiled for 10 minutes, the product is ready and we'll take the jars out with the jar holder. So remember, bring it to a boil, put your timer on for 10 minutes once it starts boiling, 
After 10 minutes, you're gonna take those jars out and put them on the counter and let them cool and they'll be ready in a couple days and they'll be good for a whole year. And your pickles have been boiling now for 10 minutes in the pot. So I'm gonna pull them out with the jar holder. Yep, they look pretty good. Now you'll see on the bread and butter pickles, it looks like there's not a lot in there, but that's because they've shrunk and then when the sugar works back into them over the next three days, I'm gonna put them on the counter, they'll fill back out. So there's one. And there's the other. So you'll let them cool until you can touch them. They're cool to the touch and then you can put them in your cupboard. They'll be ready in three days. It's always best to serve your pickles cool. So after you're, when you're ready to serve them, put them in the fridge and then serve them cold. Now remember, always refrigerate your pickles after you've opened up the jar. But these pickles are great for up to one year in your cupboard, no problem. And so you pickled it yourself and enjoy your own pickles. Thanks.